Hello and welcome to Geekit Play Studio tutorial. So in this tutorial, I want to look on a photo key pro and how to set up this for the live event. So this is happened during the experience and when you photo shoot maybe on a field and you want to set up your camera. So when people come, you can take shot like photo booth and it's very fast processing. They can preview images. But also, if you properly set up the photo key pro, it's make much easier. It can be just simple as one man job. So the system will automatically processing image as it's going. People can preview and you also can save them an email at the same time. So it's very like almost have it your two other assistants who work at the same time with you. So first, let's go look how we can stop. Right here, it's photo key pro eight is open and you can see we have some demo it's basic screen so what we want to do is going to create a new file so as it create canvas this is first what we want to do and again uh because how we're going to photo shoot some um clients or some people who are coming over we want them place automatically we don't want to adjust um resolutions or other things so what i want to do is set up and base it on my background, my images. So right here, we're going first canvas and be sure the preset set as background. So I don't want to change any other things. So now we want to import our background and I'm going inside and let's just import. For most events, you don't want to switch back and forward. So you want just import one background on this case. So let's go ahead and import. Okay, so we'll go click and I have it one backdrop already created. And as a backdrop, you can see you can upload it formats, almost all of them, JPEG, BNG, TFF, if you want to compress it. Uh, for fast speed, and usually I maybe post-process afterwards if I need it, but for on the field, you want to load it faster and everything. So you may consider about memories and JPEGs is work just fine in this case, but be sure you save on quality 12 for the best quality. So let's go click open. And you'll notice as we load our background is change a uh, retro to match our background so this is what i want to create it and next what i want to do is add logo up front so when people start kind of importing when we're shooting i want logo going over the um the position where they are so let's go ahead we'll go also next to the layers okay and inside layers we're going to add one more layer and notice right here, this is going layer one, foreground, background. So I want this layer going up front of the my foreground layer. So let's go ahead and also um, load it our image. The one thing what I do prefer, you not necessarily need it, but when I save logo, I want to save logo same size as my background. So the same resolution, everything. If you have a logo different size, you can still adjust, you can vertically modified positioning and scale if you need it but creating same size make much easier and faster to load okay so we're going we select the logo and notice it's png because i want transparency and jpeg won't provide so you need to have it or jf or png png will always better because it does uh, against the jf because it will provide change opacity as well on transparency so we'll go open and notice it's placed it in the area where i want it i don't need to adjust i could if i want to modify additional properties opacity and other things but for now it is in a place where i want this image to locate it on the bottom and create this way sometimes you maybe want to add additional effects to the template for example if this template is a little bit boring you maybe want to add some uh, sparks effects for this we'll need to create additional layer so let's do this right now i'm going to click add layer and currently this layer is located on top so what i want to do is take this layer normal mode and i want actually going to right here okay and notice my foreground and background and i want to place this under um my layer one so if i want to add some effects up front additional but i don't want them be up front of my um logo so let's go ahead add a few things okay we'll go click add and right here for example i want to go add 
layer called dirt so you don't necessarily need this is totally option and this is will go over also this is options only available for the for the key eight um if you have it all other versions you probably don't have it, the options to select blending mode so this is very powerful option and i do recommend for you to upgrade if you have it option to do this so what are we going to do it just modify we can go multiply it will make a little bit darker and i also want to take this opacity a little bit less so it will be there it does not destroy it but it is um help blend the image we're putting with the background you will see because it will start kind of overlaying and placing there again this is totally options uh, optional things to do this layer and of course if you don't like any time you can disable it okay so we finished presetting our layers what we want to do it's work with the foreground stuff let's go click on import and in foreground when you work with assistance or alone most time on a field you want to use it use hard folder which is kind of give it nice options it's watching for specific folder and as images appeared there as you're shooting and tethering there they will appear down below and you can also select automatically the latest ones so it's always will be displayed here so let's go ahead and enable hot okay as we select it after select new images i want to select this and now i want to set my hot folder for it okay and right here i will just set photos and select it's nothing in this folder so we don't select it and let's just start adding images and we'll see how they start appear and usually you want to do at least one image before you start full event so you can preset resolution and positioning for this image okay so right here and let's say we have it one image that loading and you can see as soon the image appears start preloading the nice things about this it will read um raw format photoshop or other format and most time it can work straight out of the camera so it's nice things look on this here how well photo key removed from this so one thing what i want before i want to take one image first one and readjust positioning the all other keys will follow this couple things um from experience what i found out i like to do one it is if you remove from feet it's make much easy the feet and shadows around feet is the hardest thing to make people look like they're in that environment and if you keep them there it's made much harder and we'll look in a second what's happening with this however right here um this is blue border it's what image does and i do like a little bit overshoot so we have it a little bit safe place around there but overall just take the positioning so when you're done with kind of raw positioning um remember position for your camera uh angle and other things and you want to keep it around same because if the people going out of the green screen you maybe will cut off but if you keep general in same area even you want you can use a tripod in this case on this case you will have a consistency and you don't need to worry about how the image happening what's happened next time so after this you're ready to photo shoot so you can have its other image and you notice as the image will uploading in a hot area it will start positioning so look right here a little bit offset and now we cutting off but it's still working and many times in preview as this going it will go process better and better the things that's happening worse when you start having different perspective so for example right here let's look another hot folder upload now we have it with a foot and different positioning and you can see the problem with this beside of course reflective we will ignore this but now your image is different size so instead like you position before and you keep it same angle like one image and you keep it on second so they look good you change your um perspective you change something and now you need it rework you can still you can still readjust if you want it and you off always you can go ahead and set as unique add to the batch and take this image and okay let me go to positioning and do afterwards you can do all of this stuff if you need it you know kind of like position um rework some of this 
after you're done. However, you don't necessarily want to do this in a time of photo shoot because when you're doing your gun and you start photo shooting over and over the multiple photos and uh, they just keep on going and they're going with raw format so they have it previews on a field you don't want to do. So here's another note. Be sure when you set um, your frame ahead and you're ready to photo shoot and just keep it same aspect ratio, keep it uh, same angle another one on the, so on the field that way you can produce much faster and just keep on going and going to produce those photos. Um, and other one last things, um, as I mentioned before, if you're going and file and go to options and this area, you can actually set up your email properly. So after you shoot and you approve it, it will automatically email to the client or to other ones your images as well. You can just upload directly to FTP. This is again require active internet connections uh, from place where you're doing on the on a field when you're photo shooting but overall right here it's your options they're going to email and ftp so it's even make much easier to deliver those images thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit on our website is www.geekatplay.com